for me, I liked the consistency and the routine of the challenge. It's not hard to commit to. The shakes are fantastic. The bars are fantastic. The cookies are great. So all the Maxine products are excellent. And you know, once I found it, that was life for the next 12 weeks. So I didn't find that hard. I liked doing the weight side of things. Maxine's is a program for women, so I'm not gonna get bulky by doing, you know, a program that a man does. It's all tailored for getting the right shape for me. So that was great. It was great doing it as a couple because I work part-time, I was doing all the food prep, and he's a really motivating person. He got me to the gym every day. If I was tired at the end of the day, he would say, no, come on, we're going, or have a rest, and then, 10 o'clock at night, he'd say, well, we've had a rest now, let's go and do an hour and come home. And we just kept each other going, so it was great. The forum was great. If we weren't sure, you could ask a question, can I do this, will this help me? A lot of people were asking questions about how to do things with correct form. The team were always, straight away, you would, an would answer you. Sometimes I wondered if I was doing an exercise correctly. And you could search um, if you had a question, and often it had already been asked, so the answer would be there for you. I now probably preach to people that we take food for granted. We eat too much for pleasure and not for fuel. So it's the same as putting petrol in your car. If your car runs on unleaded, you don't put diesel in it because it won't run properly. The Maxine's product range has been fantastic. I'm a little bit addicted to the strawberry with my oats and I cut up strawberries in it. And I have used it for a recipe as well that Janet had actually put online with a cereal as well, mix them together and make some protein balls. And the nighttime protein has been great since they launched that. You know, the nighttime nibbles coming on and it's just that bit thicker it's, and the chocolate flavour, it keeps, that finishes me off and I'm not looking for the, you know, the sneaky chocolate or the, the bickies in the cupboard or anything like that. So the products have been great, easy to use, and I would recommend it to, to anybody to use. I don't know whether it's reflected in my blog, but I remember cohesively saying, I want more. I like goals. I like setting myself a challenge. I like to exceed those goals because it makes me feel good when I achieve them. I gave myself the support network that I needed and I employed my husband to really keep me on track. I told my family all about it. And the community is an amazing, amazing, amazing embodiment of challenge. It's not only a great support network for if you're feeling a little bit down or frustrated or you think that something's not quite right and you just need to bounce some ideas off. It was really great for information. And you also had the master coaches and I was like so shocked. The first reply back, I was like, oh my gosh, Janet Kaye just replied to me. And I was like, yeah, this is real. They're actually there for us. And so that was a really instrumental factor to my success at this challenge. And it gave me a way to connect with other fitness minded individuals. I have found so many unbelievable inspirational people through forum, through Instagram, through other things and we've all just kind of become like that fit family. I just felt mentally stronger and that was so important to me. I just didn't feel like a doormat that everyone was walking all over anymore. I just felt like I could stand up to myself and I could say no if I wanted to say no. I started using the blog probably later on in the challenge. I was just using, Instagram was easy for me, being a busy mum and I got to, you know, chat with all the other co-challenges and that became a really positive thing. Like, I'd wake up, like put a photo on there or write something positive and wake up in the morning and be all these likes and positive things coming from everyone. Then I sort of started reading other people's blogs and. You know, it was quite interesting and really inspiring and they were putting themselves out there and once I'd started doing that, it became almost like a spiritual sort of um, journey for me. First of all, I had the gym at home, like the first few weeks I just had dumbbells and a barbell and then we purchased a home gym and when 
my son was sleeping in the morning, I would go downstairs and do my workout. And if it didn't work out that way, if he wasn't sleeping or we had an appointment or somewhere to be, then I would make sure I'd do it that night. And sometimes I trained as late as like nine, 10 o'clock at night. And I found the weight training like therapeutic in a way. It was like my time out and it didn't matter whether, how late it was at night. Like I made sure I got it done. <laughs> My family's really proud and my friends as well. My best friend's my training buddy at gym and she came over to my gym when it was six weeks into the challenge so it was nice having her back to train with. I think people around me are happier too. The 12 week journey's never been a just 12 weeks for me. It's always been a lifestyle change. I went into it going, I'm gonna change my life by doing this. And continually throughout the 12 weeks, it was keeping that after the 12 week focus going too. The support of mind coach Craig Harper really helped with that too. He always said that it's not just 12 weeks, this is a new you. So this is only really the beginning of my journey. Um, it's gonna be a healthy bridey from now on in. <laughs>